This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by Gamefly. Coming up on Destructoid, we've got some details about the PC version of XCOM Enemy Unknown, Capcom drops 10 minutes of Remember Me gameplay, and Fart Cat is a game that's coming to iOS. And yes, we're gonna report on that. Also, we have a very special guest, and we also have prizes, because it's Friday. Destructoid, live, go, do the thing with the helicopter. Welcome to Destructoid, I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. Happy Friday, Max. Indeed, it's a wonderful happy Friday. It Things is are, a the, wonderful the Friday. The birds are just in the sky, just mm -hmm. hanging out in there, because they they can fly, and they're up there, and they live there. Where are you going with this? I don't know. I'm okay. having a pretty okay well, Friday, Well, we have though. a very special we guest do. on the show today. Don't I'm not give gonna, it away. I'm not going to spoil don't who it is, but it is somebody whose vagina I came out of, so we'll get back to that well, topic that later. Well, that sure narrows it down. Yep. Could be my dad. You don't know either one. Randy Pitchford is in the studio today. <laughs> I don't know. So, I wish. um, yeah, uh, we're <laughs> off to a good start. Um, so we were at PAX last weekend, as you guys should probably know. I, I hope. Um, and while we were at Bethesda's booth and nobody was looking, I reached into their big prize bucket and I just grabbed a big, smelly fistful of their swag. Dum dums. Oh. I wish they had dum dums and blow pops, but I grabbed a bunch of their swag and I shoved it in my backpack for you guys because their swag was Xbox Live avatar gear things, which means that I can give them to you because I don't have to mail them because they're just codes. So we've got six codes for Corvo masks from Dishonored. That's the little guy from, this is a little That's guy. That's so scary. Oh, he's so creepy. That's, That's terrible. I don't like being Scare frightened. your friends. Uh, we've got six of those, and then we've got 10 pinky demon pets from Doom. Hey, look, it's me. I know that guy. It's me. Jeez. Anyway, um, so if you want to win one of these, all you have to do is tweet out. I'm watching at Detoid Show live at youtube.com slash Detoid, www.youtube.com slash Detoid. That is important. You have to make it a real link. Otherwise, people can't click on it. Anyway, so I can win a free Corvo mask slash Pinky Demon for my XBL avatar. Just copy that thing on the screen or some semblance of it. The important thing is that you tag us the at Detroit show and include the link and then say whether you want the, the stupid mask or the dumb animal yeah. for your thingy. So make sure you do that and that you're following us and then you won't go to jail. Also, yeah, you won't go to jail and you also won't jail. you won't have to pay $3 for a friggin' mask or something. What is two, four, 240 Microsoft points? That's a little bit yeah. steep. Come on, let's pump the brakes here, Bethesda. Free pretend garbage for you guys. Uh -oh. But actually, I, I took one of the pinky demons for myself because oh, it's like a little dog and half of it is a robot and the other half is like a nutsack with teeth on it. It's terrible. Terrific. Yeah. Let's talk about All news. All right. Yeah. Uh, first piece of news today before we get into things that are actually related to video games. Uh, it looks like G4 might be headed to that big television screen in the sky. They're going to start showing... Oh, God. I looked up at the lights and now I'm blinded. Sorry. Um, so, what were you going to say? I was going to show it on that big one at the ballpark. Yeah, sure. That one. It's yeah. my favorite. Uh, Variety Magazine is apparently reporting that the channel, which, by the way, still purports itself as the official source of video games, despite that, the fact that 90% of its programming is just cops reruns. So, yeah, maybe it's no surprise to anyone that G4 might be ending as soon as early 2013. Sources are claiming that its parent company, NBC, plans to rebrand it as something less geek, more chic. In fact, I believe the exact words they used were a direction reminiscent of GQ. So basically the opposite of gamers. Apparently they are still going to have some kind of emphasis on video games and tech programming. So nobody really knows what that means for their flagship shows, obviously, like Attack of the Show and X-Play. But guess what, guys? I know of a wonderful, magical place where you can fulfill all your tech and video game needs. It's called Revision 3, and you're watching it right now. They've got a lot of amazing shows, but one really fabulous one in particular. Adult Animal Fashion Parade! I was actually talking about Techzilla, but oh. that's great too. I was working on my new show, Adult Animal Fashion Parade, where I take wild animals and try and put shirts on them. Wow, screw Revision 3, just bring that one straight to Discovery. It's smart, it's smart programs for dumb people. For that's what it is. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's kind of... TV channels devoted to one thing is sort of a thing of the past. Remember when the Weather Channel started showing movies? Or the TV Guide Channel started showing Curb Your Enthusiasm? No. Yeah, that happened. 
wow. Yeah. I guess that's why I don't watch those things. Thank God for the internet. Anyway, um, so back to video games. One of the big games coming out this fall is XCOM Enemy Unknown, which is slated for an October 9th release. This is, of course, the updated version of the classic PC turn-based strategy game where you have a bunch of little dudes and you fight aliens and save the Earth. Uh, so far, Firaxis has mostly shown off their console versions, which do a pretty good job of taking the old-school kind of point-and-click controls and adapting them to a controller. But today, we've got a bunch of screens that show off what the PC version is going to look like. They have graphs in them. Yep, that's right, there's a grid. And so, I love grids. Yeah, grids are great, man. I like grids. But I mean, hey, you know, it's it's just like the old game, which had a grid in it. And also, if you're really old, if you were a warrior of the days of yore, on which battles took place on ye old analog graph paper scrolls, then maybe this will be a, a thing you a thing you appreciate because it's a graph. Anyway, that's it's XCOM, man. That's what you want. Uh, also for PC players, the game is now available for pre-purchase from a variety of digital marketplaces, and if you do so, you get access to the Elite. Soldier Pack, which includes the classic XCOM soldier inspired by the original games, some soldier deco packs, some cool stickers and awesome sparkly things, probably, and some complete color customization so you can make your dudes look like Power Rangers. We already talked about that, that's old news, but you know, if you pre-purchase the game from Steam, they're doing this interesting little thing which is like a three-tiered reward system. So if you just pre-purchase the game just normally, you get um, you, you get the thing I just mentioned, the Elite Soldier Pack. And if everybody pre-purchases the game, or a bunch of people pre-purchase it, there's like a second tier where everybody gets some XCOM-themed Team Fortress 2 hats. There's some hair and a pin that you can make your Team Fortress 2 guys wear, because whatever. Uh, and then uh, there's a third tier, and if enough people, like if enough people get stoked about XCOM and they all go buy it on Steam, then everyone gets a free copy of Civilization V. So it's sort of like Kickstarter rewards, except with pre-orders, sort of. Um, what do you guys think of this? I actually, I went on Reddit this morning, and surprise, surprise, the r slash gaming subreddit was all like, what is this nonsense and hooligan horse apples and I've never heard anyone on Reddit. Fapple. But actually a lot of them were like, this isn't so bad. We get a free copy of Civilization V. So, Anyway, regardless of where you purchase the game from, all PC versions will be powered by Steamworks, so you get achievements, matchmaking, Steam Cloud saves, and auto-updating. And on top of that, if you want some more XCOM for your eyeballs to be pointed at, 2K has released the E3 playthrough, which Anthony and I did a piece on back in, back in June when we first saw it. Um, there's, there's Sid Meier that they mm. put in the game for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, they showed that to us again at PAX last weekend, but if you want God, to see it for yourself, it's pretty cool, yeah, they got aliens. It does get old if you've seen it a bunch of times, but, but you can go watch it, because it's got aliens, so go check that out. Uh, let's see, Milio Milo said, Max, I'll watch the adult animal fashion show if you put a shirt on a raccoon successfully. I believe that is a challenge. And Le True Noir said just the words, G4 been dead. So yeah. There you okay. go. G4 well, been good. dead. Yeah, run tell that, homeboy. Run, run and tell that. Um, so speaking of awesome things like aliens, uh, Capcom has so graciously gifted us with another 10 minutes of gameplay from their upcoming cyberpunk IP, Remember Me. Uh, a few weeks ago, I showed you guys a different 10 minutes of gameplay footage that focused more on the memory remixing aspects. But this newest one gives a good look at some of the game's parkour and combat elements, which are always important in games about combat. Uh, it starts out with the protagonist, Neelan, trying to break into the Memorize company, which just clicked in my head right as we were doing rehearsal. Um, she's trying to find somebody whose memory she needs to remix, but as it turns out, he's already found her and a helicopter, apparently, that he's in. Um, so it kind of triggers this whole helicopter chase scene where she's dodging bullets and climbing up buildings and jumping across platforms. She's also got something kind of similar to Isaac Clarke's stasis ability that lets her open and close doors and move things from a distance, so that's kind of cool. About halfway through, she encounters some guards which uh, provides a little look at the melee combat that you'll you'll be seeing in this game. Very Arkham City-ish. Um, you see little pop-ups while you're fighting that say things like critical hit and hit times three. And then she's got the option for a slow motion finishing move where she, I, it's hard to tell what's going on. It looks like she jams something into the guy's head. She's feeding him Twizzlers. And, and he dies of a memory overload. Up. Maybe she feeds him she's Twizzlers. She's like, have some red know. vines. I just beat you up. Oh, and he's like, Bruh. I'd rather die than eat a red vine. I hate so red that vines. could be a possibility. Everyone's going to get so mad at us for <laughs> red vine hatred. Um, she's also got a skill wheel, which she uses later on in a room full of guards. Uh, first, she in initiates the Sensen DOS skill 
which appears to slow down time briefly, and then she uses a logic bomb on one of the guys to create what looks like a pulse wave or something uh, that basically kills logic. everyone in the room but her. You've been told, yeah, and then they're all they like, got whoa, told, right? mind equals blown. I also spotted a sense and fury skill in her wheel as well. I'm not sure what that does because she doesn't use it in this demo, but I bet it's cool. I bet it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm personally really excited for this game. I think it looks fun. I love the cyberpunk aesthetic. The voice acting is not terrific, and there's plenty of corny dialogue to go around, even in just 10 minutes of gameplay footage, but I still have high hopes. This is scheduled to release in May 2013 for Xbox, PS3, and PC, and regardless of whether or not you think it looks fun, because people were bitching in the YouTube comments, of course, can we all just agree to agree that Capcom's marketing is awesome? Like, forget about the teaser trailers or the developer diaries with, you know, the artsy, yeah. fartsy footage. Like, I just want 10 minutes of straight gameplay. Why is that's, that so hard? That's what to everyone do. wants, but it doesn't whet the appetite. I, my appetite is whetted, and then some. Okay, well, let's not get too weird I'm here. I'm so wet right now, you uh, don't even... Tara! I'm sorry. Oh, no. Anyway, I guess we'll talk about something else, because you said those things. <laughs> you guys are always asking me what games I am most looking forward to, and I usually say stuff like Far Cry 3 or Metal Gear Rising or Nino Kuni, because those are all games I'm looking forward to, but one that I've been secretly awaiting news about is Worms Revolution. And while I was out sick with my wisdom teeth bleeding into my mouth, I fell back in love with Worms Armageddon on XBLA, which is really not the best Worms port, but it's still Worms on Xbox, which is cool, I guess. So I've been really looking forward to Team 17's next installment of the classic game series, which is Worms, where you play as the Worms. like. It's Worms, I don't know. Worms Revolution dropped a new trailer today that shows off the different classes, which is a new thing for Worms. You've got a soldier, a scout, a scientist, and a heavy. I have no idea what the different classes do. Uh, they got some water, that's new. You got water physics, which can slosh around. Uh, there we go, look at the water. Ooh, it's sloshing. Yeah, sloshing. Sloshing physics, now in Worms. There's a super sheep. Yeah, it looks like worms, but with like better graphics and water and some chickens also. Um, there's a cute little trailer they did, and it's sort of like a nature film narrated by Don Keystone, which hardcore worms fans will realize is a nod to the concrete donkey weapon. Mm. That's probably the most information I was able to dig up from that trailer. I can't believe you were able to use the phrase See? hardcore worms. There's fans the concrete in a donkey just a second ago. Yeah, no, it's it's a. I don't know. I like worms. It's a popular it's game. You're right. It's a fun game, um, and we don't get a we don't get a whole lot of details in the trailer. There's some seagulls and fish and water and haunted houses and whatever. But uh, it's going to have single player as well as local and online multiplayer, and I'm excited about it and I want to play it. So that's hitting PSN, XBLA, and PC via Steam sometime in October, presumably for a reasonable price of somewhere between. Ten and seventy dollars. I don't know. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, speaking of XBLA and downloadable games, Mark of the Ninja came out today, mm. uh, and that's been getting some really crazy, incredible reviews. Anthony just reviewed it over on Rev3 Games. That's YouTube.com/Rev3Games. So you should go watch that after this is done. Mm. Uh, I actually really want to check that out. Everyone's been saying that's like. <coughs> Excuse me. You okay? I'm good. Sorry, no emergencies, guys. Okay. Thank God. But yeah. yeah, no, Mark the Ninja is supposed to be good. Yeah. I want to call it Mark the Ninja. And be like, oh, it's Ninja Mark. And you just Mark the Ninja. Don't do that. No, Don't that's a that. dumb joke. Anyway, tell us some uh, things. Yeah, there's lots of XBLA stuff coming out recently. Actually, Ubisoft uh, just hosted their annual digital day in San Francisco last Sounds... week. That's where they have a bunch of, you know, downloadable stuff, XBLA games, mobile stuff. And uh, aside from a handful of really meh looking free to play games and Shoot Mania, which I still don't understand, but that's okay. It's laser tag for Eastern yeah, Europeans. Yeah, don't even bother explaining. My mind is just, it's sealed. Uh, there was one game though that grabbed my attention and that was Rayman Jungle Run. Um, this is actually a mobile game that is being developed on the same engine as Rayman Origins, so it's got a very similar look and aesthetic, but it's a runner game, which is so perfect for the Rayman universe. Can't believe I'd never even thought of that before. Um, the game has four worlds, each with ten levels, and every time you progress to the next world, you unlock a new ability that you can use. So, for the first ten levels, you can only jump and run, of course, and then you get to the second world and you learn to fly, then you get to the third world, you learn to wall run, and then when you get to the fourth world, you learn to punch. And obviously it gets crazier as you go on, there's enemies and all sorts of stuff. 
Um, and of course, the end goal is to just complete each level while collecting as many looms as possible. Um, you can probably see from the trailer there are a few different environments in there, which I believe are divided up by world, but like, it's Rayman, you guys. It's Rayman. You know what you're getting into character-wise. And if you like runners, especially mobile runners, then this is really a no-brainer. Um, that's going to be out on iOS and Android September 20th. No price listed for that yet. But if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably around seven to ten bucks ish. Um, while we're on the subject of Ubisoft, they just announced yesterday that Trials Evolution Gold Edition is a thing that is happening. It is currently in development and headed to PC sometime next year. Uh, the Gold Edition includes the original XBLA version of Trials Evolution, obviously with some specific optimizations and enhancements made for PC. And it also comes with a copy of the original Trials HD, so there's a lot of content in there. 120 tracks worth, plus some multiplayer levels and skill games. That is going to be out, like I said, in early, I, I don't know if it's early 2013 or just 2013. Uh, but it's a port, you know, so I yeah. feel like it shouldn't take that long. And let's but. start out on there. Um, we got a couple questions from people, things to talk about. Um, let's see. Somerville TRS 117 asked, "What are your thoughts on Hearthfire and Xbox? Uh, there's a similar mod on PC that is free. Do you think it should be free?" Uh, I think that Hearthfire, I'm, I'm going to be doing like a proper kind of standalone review about this. I talked about this on Wednesday's show. Uh, I built a house in Skyrim. Um, it's pretty much The Sims crossed with Minecraft, except it's very, very rough. Um, it's it's kind of janky a little bit. Oh. I mean, you really, you kind of have to want to enjoy it. It's not like a new quest that's like, go forth and build the best house, yeah. Dragonborn. It's like, hey, do you want a house? Because you can build one now. And It'll be hard, but you can do yeah. it. Yeah, if you're into customization and stuff, it's kind of cool. And if you have an Xbox, you don't really get the choice of having mods, free or otherwise. So. Uh, it's five bucks. I would say it's definitely worth five bucks if it seems like the kind of thing you're interested in. If you like yeah. having a, you know, a, a level of customization in your game, so maybe check that out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I can't get the friggin' orphans to move into my house. I don't know what it is. Maybe the fact that I'm jumping out like with a horn maybe helmet, you shouldn't be so and I'm just like, Stop to and they just. Naked orphans just in your come house. And they, I fixed that bug, I hope. Oh, that was an actual yeah. bug? That was a bug. I went back to the really? orphanage. All the orphans had clothes on, so. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry wow. about what we titled last episode. I thought last you episode. were just overreacting last no, episode. No, that was actually a thing that was going on. Anyway, uh, let's take a word from our sponsor. Let's do that. Yes. Uh, I know you guys like video games, but you may not like having to go to the store to buy video games, and that's where Gamefly comes in. They've got the world's largest online video game rental service with over 8,000 new and classic games for you to choose from, no matter what console or handheld you own. Gamefly's plans start at just $15.95 a month, and members can rent one to four games at a time, keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is perpetually free. Once you're done playing a game, just send it back, and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. And if you really, really like the game you're playing and you want to keep it, just head over to the Gamefly website and click Keep It, and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. And if you're a PC guy or gal, fear not. Members can also play hundreds of PC games for free with Gamefly's unlimited PC play plan. Whew, I got through that one without stumbling. Uh, better yet, Destructoid fans can get their own 15-day free trial when they head over to Gamefly.com slash Destructoid and sign up. You get video games, then we get money to buy video games, and then everyone mm -hmm. gets video games and they're all happy. I was actually, we were mentioning, um, you know, uh, XCOM being available for digital download, pre-purchase. You can get that on, on Gamefly, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, I'm on the, the pre-purchase site right now, and it just has a okay, picture well, of the Gamefly logo. Okay, stop around so. online. And get I'm doing my job, show. man. You want to guys know about some things that happened to, on the internet and whatever? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's Friday, man. Um, here's the thing. Summer Camp Studios, a little iOS developer, they just released their first game on the App Store, and it's called Fart Cat. Now, normally we don't report on stupid little iPhone games about farts or cats or whatever, but damn it, these guys earned some coverage because they made the funniest game trailer I've ever seen. Also, you talk about Garfield like at least once I a week. I hate so. Garfield. He sucks ass. <laughs> so, according to the trailer, Fart Cat is a game based on the hit summer blockbuster movie which is also titled Fart Cat, and it takes us to a Black Ops tr cat training facility where they are feeding a, a cat a bunch of different foods so that he farts when somebody pets him. And it's really stupid. And <laughs> see, there's like the different cat foods we could feed the cat. What? Cats and they're like, burgers. that food is prototype food, it's unstable. And it's a really dumb video, but they had fun making it, obviously. The interesting thing about Fart Cat, 
I can't believe I have to say that for my job in a sentence. Uh, the interesting thing about Fart Cat is that it's the work of a bunch of former 38 Studios employees. Um, you know, 38 Studios was the guys who did Kingdoms of Amalur and were subsequently left without jobs thanks to a series of unfortunate events involving electronic arts, a Red Sox pitcher, and the state of Rhode Island. You guys might remember that. That was crappy. But they're back on their feet, some of them, and they've shipped Fart Cat, which looks infinitely more fun and interesting than Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I'm sorry, but good lord. Yeah. Look at them, they're cheering Fart Cat. Um, so I reached out to Summer Camp Studios co-founder Rich Gallup on Twitter with a couple of very serious questions, because I'm a journalist, about Fart Cat. Number one question is, is it great? And number two is, how many farts are there? And he got back to me and said, Fart Cat is greater than the Great Pumpkin, but not quite greater than Frosted Flakes. And number two, what the shit does that say, Tara? Um, what is that? How many farts are in the game? 30, 32. 32. Is that 32? That's 32. That's 32? Okay, so there are 32 farts in the game. I did some journalism. Breaking news. I did news. some math. There's what 30, now? There's 32 farts, according to her, in the game. So, you know, we talk about so much serious stuff in video games, all the games that are like, oh, they're all epic, and it's the most epic game ever, and then they're dark, it's such a dark reimagining, and then there's, you know, the stuff surrounding them, like business and scandals and politics and sexism and racism and international relations, and this is not why I ever got interested in video games. I like video games because they're fun and they're entertaining, so go watch the stupid farting cat video, because that's what the internet is for, God damn it! and if you like it, just go check out Fart Cat, it's 99 cents on the App Store. It's supporting those guys who got fucked over by 38 Studios. And hey, you can make a cat fart. It's, it's, it's Friday. Go fart the cats. Friday should be an excuse for everything, yeah. else, which is why I have an incredibly important announcement, everyone. Now, a lot of you already know this about me, but I am something of a fitness guru. Whether it's pumping iron or blasting pecs, I've pretty much done it all and then some. <clears throat> So, with years of professional expertise and an eight-pack of rock-hard abs under my belt, it should come as no surprise that I have been chosen, nay, selected, to appear as a background dancer in the next Zumba Fitness Connect game, Zumba Fitness Core. Please, Max, hold your applause until the end of the story, please. Carry on, Tara. <clears throat> <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna be in a video game, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you saw the Tara Long's Connect Fitness Challenge video that I put up on this channel back in February, which I hope to God you didn't, because it's horribly embarrassing, um, you'd know that I'm a big fan of the Zumba series and their newest game, which is coming out this October, is all about strengthening your core and getting these rock hard abs, which I definitely have, but I can't show you, because that would be illegal. <clears throat> so they've got tons of different dance routines in the game, over 40 of them in there. God, it's so creepy watching myself. Uh, they've got all kinds of music ranging from hip hop to cumbia to Celtic bluegrass, which is apparently a thing that you can dance to. All the classes are developed and taught by real Zumba instructors, so they know what they're doing, but really, when, when it comes to Zumba, the emphasis is more on just sweating and having fun and less on uh, you know, performing exact movements, because let's face it, Connect is not a replacement for a personal trainer. The technology, is, it's just not good enough yet to be able to reliably detect precise movements and that is why fitness games try to attempt that a lot of times and then fail miserably. Um, also, dancing, as long as no one is around to see it, at least in my case, is so much more fun than doing 150 crunches or running in place for 30 minutes. And you get to watch me while you're doing it. You get to watch me dance in front of Lucky's Casino like I do every weekend. <clears throat> you can clap now. Bravo, Tara. Please clap. I'm Please, sure. it would mean so much to me. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say that the dance that they do, it's they should, they should call it um, the floor is lava, there are spiders all around me, I am I have shit in my pants, because this is what it's Is like. that what it looked like I was doing? A little bit. I mean, I I'm a know. pretty great dancer in real life, so yeah. that's not a, you know, We've a completely that. accurate picture, Whenever, but it's still cool nonetheless. Yeah, well, that's, um, that's awesome. I'm jealous. I want to be in a game. You'll be in a game. I'll be in a game someday. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's enough of the, the fiffle faffle. We have literally dozens of impressionable tweens watching this program, and those impressionable tweens, who should be in bed by now, have given us nice questions mm. for us to answer and stuff. But, but first, let's bring out a special guest. Oh, our special guest is here. It's, it's Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Come on out, Ron Jeremy. Oh, you just ruined it for me. Why did you bring these okay, with you? And I'll tell you why I brought it. Hi, guys. It's, it's this is my mom, everyone. Yeah, this is Tara's the woman mom. whose vagina I came out of so many years ago. <laughs> Spoiler okay, alert. Stand in front of me. Yes. Um, so, I feel compelled after that colorful description that you gave of uh, your secret guest 
to come straight with you. And the fact of the matter is, Jenna Jameson is your real mother. What? Oh my God. And Ron Jeremy is your real father. Daddy? It's, look like Daddy? A, it's like a disgusting autographed mirror. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh God! I, I don't want to think about how do you think you came out looking so egg. pretty? Oh, why do thank we have, you. Why do we have framed signed pictures of porn stars on our set? That's what well, I was so wondering myself. So many empty myself. liquor bottles. Because video games. Exactly. You guys. Uh, we actually have a ton of questions. Um, we hey, can... yeah, feel free to shoot your questions here as long as they do not involve the words vagina, sex, or any combination of the words carpet and drapes. I think you've yeah. covered yeah. everything so we've got, already. We've got our, now. our new, our newly hired um, Rev Three YouTube warrior Nick Robinson manning the chat right now, and it's fun because it's his first week here and we decided to have Tara's mom on the show so he has to put up with the worst things coming yep. out of people's mouths. Um, let's see, what do we got Anything here? Anything good in there. Uh, Panzer622 says, where are the Tara baby pics? Oh. oh. Was I supposed to do that? They're on my Facebook, unfortunately. She's not my real baby, I told you who the mother yeah. is. Actually, she, I just met her I don't right have before we filmed this show. I don't know, she's a stand-in. <laughs> okay, Red Dragon 8998 says, do you think the Assassin's Creed franchise is becoming too repetitive? What are your thoughts on that? I think it's good that it's becoming repetitive. I think that's a good thing. It makes you feel comfortable with it after it repeats itself for a long time. It's uh -huh. like, like a routine kind God, of thing. God, you're good. She should have a segment you on her show. You should be a PR. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah, okay. seriously. All right, what are we, um, let's see. <laughs> Mahurber says, do you guys ever get overload from all the good games coming out? How do you choose? Uh, well, what about you, Mom? I would put all the names in a fishbowl, mix them up, and close my eyes and pick one out. What if you picked up a fish by accident? Well, then I would play with the fish. Wouldn't that be gross? <laughs> fish is the best game ever, honestly. That we is, like that fish is on this quite show. a logical fish. solution. Here's a good one. RK9 says, question for Tara's mom. What is the most embarrassing thing Tara yeah, did when she was a kid? To, oh, we're wow. Good oh, this God. Question. This is ratings <laughs> okay. gold. She's this not is... my kid, so <laughs> this, I have no that, stories. <laughs> whatever, that urchin over there. <laughs> Think of the most flattering, Nothing embarrassing good. story you can think of. I can't. Th What's the <laughs> most expensive thing she ever pooped on or ruined otherwise? I was actually very good about controlling my poop yeah, as a well, child. Your brother it's a pity wasn't, you didn't stick uh, with it. Yeah. You, you were good, yeah. yes. He, um, what did I do? Oh, I can't think of anything. What? I, what? I know I've done something embarrassing in my lifetime. Really? What, like being in a Zumba fitness game? Uh, yeah, shut that's up, probably that's the amazing. Worst. That was the worst. It's amazing. Like that guy from Memento, except really embarrassing. <laughs> Just going through and forgetting everything. Uh, let's see. What do we got? I can't think Alex, of anything. I can't think Alex of anything. Rodriguez says Max should do Zumba. Alex, can we ban him? Just to <laughs> cut him off anyway. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Oh, there's got to be something embarrassing. Yeah, that you I'm trying did. to think of it now. It, World. Embarrassing me right now that I can't even think of anything. I think embarrassing we shut it out of our childhood. minds. It was probably so horrid yeah. that Mom we shut it out the of truth. our minds. Ask her about Black Ops 2. What does she think of it? This what do you is think from of Black World Ops Champion 2? 22. Well, <laughs> I played it like 10 hours yesterday, so yeah. I can speak from a uh, recent if, experience. So you have a pre-release copy then? <laughs> Oops. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. she, therefore, gets, she gets all the review therefore copies. Therefore, I can't say anything because Oh, that's it's right. She secret. can't say anything because it's embargoed. It's sure. a mombargo. It's right. a mombargo. The mombargos. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're called. One more question, I think. And Do we have uh, one more question? Do we have another question? Um, Exilcon says, ever hear about the Black Mesa mod coming out in six days and it's going to be awesome for Half-Life fans? What do you think about that? Oh, Which is better, Black Mesa or Black Ops? Black. The Black Mesa mod. It's a, it's kind of pottery. Even I, think. I don't know what that I know. is. <laughs> no, it sounds right southwestern and. Yeah. <laughs> Half Life Two fans, come on, get over it. Oh. It's ten years. Oh. You need to move on. Oh. Almost ten. Well, years. it's a good thing there's so many other innovative shooters coming I'm out these kidding. days. I love you and I love um, Valve and Gabe Newell. It's my sweetheart. Yeah. Gabe, you baby. All right, uh, that about wraps up this shit show. In fact, you want to lead us out, Mom? You want to, you want to do the Twitter plug, Daddy? With Daddy? 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 Nope, nope. Get it off. We have to get it off. All right. Read the things on the if TV. If you guys Mom. like us, you should follow us here on Twitter because we're on there. <laughs> I can't. The, the thing is hovering over. Oh my over. God. Okay, I'm Tara Longest. He's Max Scoville, and together we are the Detoid Show. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Yes, oh. and we will contact the winners through Bef Twitter. Before we go, we have the winners. 
Oh. For the Corvo mask, it's Papa Z Bear, Dedewey, Holly94, JP Garcia6, Gumashen, Bach Rossi, and then for the Pinky Demons, it's Jordan Rodkey, K Slacky, Milio Milo, Fee501st, Duder McBrohan, Vin the Human, Killer Mime93, El Pixelo, Tyler Bettys, and Zacharooney. And this is our real job. And that concludes Those our program. Me. Those Have are all me weekend. under different pseudonyms. All right, oh, Mom. Good Lord. Go on. All You've right. screwed the show enough. Take care, guys. Don't kill any cops. <laughs> <laughs>